Greetings, brethren, and welcome back to another episode of the Black Man Can Men's Channel. I'm your host, Frederick Harper, QKA, The Messenger, and I wanted to tell y'all brothers, thank you so much in advance, as always, for the support. Moreover, if this is your first time here, please watch the video until the end of the video. Like the channel, share the channel, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, as well as the platforms below. Also, ladies, this is a men's channel. You are always welcome to come see me, but do not come for me. I will not go back and forth about a difference of opinion. Today, without further ado, we're going to hop into today's topic. Given to me by Brother DC Jax, Root to the Cues. Thank you for giving me some topics to uh, give to the brother. And I ask brother to continue to bring topic in, uh, topics in, and I will address them as follows. Um, today's topic is based on, are women who have had bad or no relationships with their father, a risky choice for marriage and or children. Without getting too deep, I could say yes and shut the video down, but I wanted to delve into the reasons why. Now, brothers, you got to understand that with the fact that we are in a society now where majority of daughters and sons in the black community are being raised in single parent households, mostly by the mother. So this is like seven out of 10, eight out of 10 women that you meet in life. This is going to be their scenario. So I can't say, as sisters say, not all, but this is going to be the case for the majority of these sisters. And these are going to be some of the challenges that come with it and why it can be risky. Number one, fathers are their first relationship with a man of any kind. Okay. A father and daughter is the first relationship a girl will have with a man, and it will establish the foundation for her relationships throughout her whole life with men, okay? The father-daughter relationship establishes a young girl's feeling of self-esteem, self-confidence, self-worth, and it also gives her an idea that she's whole without having to uh, get the validation of the world. It's extremely important to a young girl to have a connection to her father, and many suffer without that. Okay, number two, black daughters consci consciously and unconsciously follow their mother lockstep. So when girls are little, they are watching everything their mother does from the swivel of her hips to the curses that come out of her mouth to the way she speaks about men, deals with men herself. The girl is watching every little thing she does for survival, for how to care for herself. Everything is being filtered through the mother and the mother's the first teacher. OK, so when you have the mother being the first teacher and she's doing things like talking about men, like saying, oh, men are like buses. You can always get a new one or um, he don't know what he's talking about. Make sure you got a man who got some money, girl. Make sure you got a man that can do for you. All these different things are giving young girls the idea that men don't have value to them unless they can give them money or do things for them. So this is where it begins. The mother is the first teacher, and a lot of the mothers are teaching the wrong things to their daughters, and there's no man in that place to give them that balance, okay? Number three, fatherless daughters become women with expectations that are either too high or they have no expectation at all. Now, you have one woman who's I'll say the expectation is too high because she's coming in looking for you to be everything that her daddy never was and then some. And most of their expectations are unattainable and, you know, they just want to be pedestalized and it's too much. OK, because they never had that relationship. They're looking to fill that void. Then, on the other hand, you're going to have the one who has no expectations at all. Now, this person is going to take on so much mistrust. She's going to be dealing with all the damage she's dealt seeing her mother deal with men growing up. And she's going to have a mental mindset that, you know what, just like my father did, any man is going to eventually leave. So she's always going to have this distrust and this dysfunctional, toxic attitude when she gets into relationships with men and it plays itself out. So you have those two uh, factors that can come in. The woman whose expectations are too high and sometimes they have no expectations at all because of a lack of a father in their life. All right. Number four, the modern woman feels she can do the job alone and the child suffers. You know, women feel that they can raise children now successfully on their own in the black community. And they choose to bring forth children with men in many cases that have no interest in even having any relationship with them. 
That's why most of the time you got more women out here who got babies than got husbands. Because they have they 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 didn't pick the right man or they had a sexual relationship and brought forth a baby with a man who didn't want a child with him. And you know, this is I I get all excuses from the women. Oh, I was young, oh, you know, I just wasn't thinking straight. And then they come off with this, all men are trash. No, the Brads and Chads are trash, but that's what you wanted in your younger years. And now you want a good dude to fix your life for you. But the child suffers. The daughter goes around with this attitude. And it's very hard for a woman to raise a child on their own. It's hard for a man, anyone to, to raise a child. Child requires two. Okay. So that's a big factor is the women feel that they can do it on their own, especially if they have money and degrees. They just think, Hey, I can take care of it on my own. I don't need a man. I got my own money. I got my own degrees, but you need a man in the life of your daughter. Okay. As well as your son, but we're dealing with daughters right now. Uh, number five. The modern black woman has been culturally conditioned to be at odds with the black man for, for a multitude of reasons, which could be another video in and of itself. But in a lot of situations, she's very disrespectful to the man. Even some men out there that are married, that are in the house with the woman, their daughter is seeing their uh, mom yell and scream and talk to her husband in a way that no woman should be talking to her man. Not if she values and loves him. So a lot of the times you got the daughter is having both parents in the household, but she's seeing the woman go crazy on her, on her father. So she instinctively is going to be like, I don't need to respect men because my mama don't respect my dad. Okay. So that's another factor. Even when you're dealing with, uh, you know, uh, fathers that are in some of the relationships. Okay. So there's a lot of combativeness, a lot of argumentativeness. I remember, uh, sister, Shur uh, Shirazad Ali said, the black man has to fight the white man for his freedom, and then he has to come home and fight with the black woman for his manhood. And that's the truth. A lot of brothers are getting disrespected, and they don't want to deal with that. They're not going to deal with that. And, and, and the children suffer because of it. And it's not good for them because no child should live in that kind of dysfunction either. All right? Number six, she seeks them elsewhere. Now, a lot of women do this. I think it's basically the best you can do based on the circumstance. They have a son. They're not with the man. So what they do is they try to put all these male mentors into the child's life. You try to get with a new dude and have a baby. You try to uh, put him on the basketball, football team and get him around men. I think that's very smart. However, no man is going to take the place of his biological father. And I tell you, excuse me, the stepfathers out there know you never will take the place of his father. You can bounce all the balls you want. You can take him to all the movies. He's always going to want that connection or she's always going to want that connection with the biological parent. Okay. And that's it, folks. Number six was the last one. So let's bring it back on a recap. And before I do number six, I'm going to say women without fathers. That'll be number seven. Tend to look for validation everywhere else. Whether it's through other women, whether it's through different men, whether it's through getting attention, dressing a certain way, they're always seeking outside validation because they didn't get it from their father when they were a little girl growing up. It's so important that we as men do our best to play roles in the lives of our daughters, just as we do with our sons. But your daughter, that's why we have issues amongst uh, couples. Okay, so we'll recap real quick. Number one, fathers are the first uh, man they'll ever have a relationship with. If she has no relationship with her father, she's going to be at a deficit in terms of self-esteem, uh, self-confidence, the way she views herself, because there was never a man there growing up to validate her and make her feel whole. All right. Number two, black daughters consciously and unconsciously follow every step their mother makes. So when mothers are not doing the right things, when they're talking about the dad, talking about your daddy ain't shit, all these different things, that affects the psyche of the daughter. How she looks at men, how she feels she can deal with and manipulate and lie to men are all coming from mama, okay? Number three, fatherless daughters become women with high expectations or no expectations at all. You usually get one group who wants you to be everything. You got to fill the void that her daddy never filled. You got to be this super duper man and it's usually unattainable. Or you have women who have no expectations. They have horrible relationships with men. In the back of their mind, they subconsciously treat them bad and distrust them because they think they're going to do the same thing their father did, which is leave. Okay. Number four, the modern woman feels she can do the job all alone and the child suffers. 
It's not me talking about the sisters. This is statistics. 70 plus percent of children, daughters, black daughters are being raised in a house with their mama and nobody else. Or maybe mama and big mama. So they're getting generational uh, uh, um, exposure to this kind of uh, mindset that a man ain't needed in the house. All right. Number five, the modern black woman has been culturally conditioned to be at odds with the black man. I told you, we got to fight with the white man for our freedom and we got to fight with the black woman for our manhood. There's always this argumentative, combative, fighting back and forth. It's mine. A lot of brothers just walk on that. They just, they just don't want to deal with that. OK, so you got to have some kind of cohesion. But that comes with her having a father to grow up to see how to get along with a man, how to be at peace with a man. They are looking for that. Number six, she seeks them elsewhere. She'll think, you know, hey, I can just get another man and have a baby with somebody else and he'll take care of my kid. Most kids don't want uh, most men don't want to have to take care of somebody else's kids. This is a newsflash. OK. And more importantly than that, although you put them in uh, the soccer and the basketball and the baseball, put them around these men. It helps, but it does not take the place of their biological parent. Last but not least, seven women without fathers tend to seek more validation from the outside world. OK, they they dress differently. They look to get validation from social media, from their girlfriends, from from other dudes in the street, rather than having that wholeness that a father brings to a daughter when she's younger. OK, so hope y'all brothers love the video. And this is what I'm saying. Um, is it is it a risk uh, dealing with a woman who has had no relationship or a bad relationship with her father? What are the risks of taking them on as wives and mothers of your children? All right, brothers, as I said, please continue to like, share, follow, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification if you're in YouTube. And brothers that are on my Instagram and on my uh, uh, Facebook group, come over to the YouTube when you see this video and, and uh, subscribe. I need to get that popping because that's going to be the main base. All right. With that said, brothers, continue to stay blessed, continue to stay on your purpose, and remember, the black man can. And if you ain't know, you better ask somebody. Be blessed. Peace.